Good morning, everyone. How are you? Happy New Year to you. Um, my name is Jamel Holly. I'm the state representative here, Roselle Elizabeth Union Hillside. I'm joined here today uh, with my colleague, Assemblywoman Annette Keanu, who's here with us. Our mayor, uh, Christine Danzero, Mayor Roselle. I want to thank our fire chief who's hosting this event today here at the Roselle Firehouse. Chief Mutual, come on up. I want to recognize uh, business administrators. Uh, Dave Brown. Um, I don't think there's any other elected officials out. Fireman, but also a, a public official himself, Mr. Dan Nina from the city of Elizabeth. At this time, I would like to uh, bring up to the podium uh, my colleague, uh, who I've had the privilege of working with over the last two years since my entrance into the New Jersey legislature. Uh, she is uh, the first Latino uh, woman uh, to ever serve uh, this district, and uh, it's been a pleasure with working with her on many different issues that face New Jersey, and I'm just so honored to have her here in our hometown of Roosevelt today. We're often in Elizabeth, uh, but she's here with us today, and I want to uh, bring her up to the podium and say a few words on uh, our endorsement today of uh, Sheriff Joe Prime for the State Senate. Annette Kiana. Thank you. Good morning. It's such a pleasure to be with everyone today. And isn't it a great day? Yes. I am so honored to be able to stand with you today to endorse Joe Prime for Senate. Joe around town, he attends mostly every event, but I got the privilege to really know Joe because I was able to work with him in the state assembly. We were able to work on a lot of issues that positively impacted our communities here in our district and in the state. I know that Joe Prine will do a great job as our senator in the 20th legislative district. The only thing is, I'm a little sad that we're not going to have him in the assembly anymore, but I'm sure he can walk a couple steps over to come visit us every once in a while. Joe is the type of person that can talk and relate to everyone. He's the person... <laughs> ...that takes the time to talk to a child at our recent toy drive that the firefighters help sponsor because that child had joy in his eyes when he saw the toys and told us later that he had never seen so much and that he really did believe that three kings were like Santa. Joe is the type of person that is open to all issues. I had this crazy idea of a community garden and I dragged him with me. And when he saw that we could feed the poor and the homeless, and that everyday people could be heroes, just like our firefighters, helping the needy, he said, I'm there with you, Annette. And he was there to inaugurate our first community garden with our Secretary of Agriculture. I could go on all day, and of course I know that my assembly member is nudging me and looking at me like, enough. There are other individuals that will tell you how great Joe Cryan is and how very lucky we are that he has decided to run for New Jersey State Senate 2017. Thank you, Annette. Uh, before I uh, introduce Ed Donnelly, the uh, FNBA president, I want to just uh, thank all of you as our first responders. So I always have said that at any given day, at any given moment when you leave your homes, you never know whether or not you're going to be returning home. And for me, that's a sacrifice to know, and I consider you all heroes in one kind, uh, because it could be any day that you may not return home. And so that is admirable uh, from someone like me and from others who we represent, that we admire all the wonderful work that you do as our first responders. So I want to commend each and every one of you for a job well done that you've been doing here. I 
I too have known Joe for uh, some time now when I was a staffer working in the legislature when Union first became uh, part of our district in the 20th. Uh, I've known Joe to be a fighter, someone who is on top of all issues, of all people, and that was certainly right. Uh, Joe is someone that you can relate to and talk to. He's someone that if you want him on your side, he's on your side and he goes all the way with you. You need that type of leader, especially in our given day in politics and government here, not only in the state of New Jersey, but where we're looking at in this entire country. So on behalf of my, myself, Annette, and the 200,000 people that we represent, we are in lock and step with Joe Bryan here for State Senate for the state of New Jersey in the 20th legislature. To my left, uh, Ed Donnelly, who is in the trenches with us down in uh, Trenton. Uh, in fact, he was with us the other day um, at the State of the State, uh, hearing the governor talk about a lot of the issues that we're confronted with uh, in New Jersey. Ed Donnelly is a good representative for all of you. Uh, as your president, he is in lock and step with a lot of us down in Trenton talking to us. Uh, advocating for you, talking about the issues that you all are, are facing. And you have a leader. I will say that. I know Annette will, and I know Joe will make those remarks, but Ed Donnelly is one good human being that is fighting for all of you in the state of New Jersey. Your president, our president of the FNBA, will introduce our candidate, Mr. Ed Donnelly. Assembly with those kind words, uh, greatly appreciate it. And it's a pleasure to work with you as well. I'd like to thank Chief Yuka, Mayor um, Assemblyman Holly, for allowing us the opportunity to come here today in Roselle. Um, I personally work in Union, uh, grew up in Union. This is my district. I know Joe, I know Annette, I know Jamel for, for many, many years. We've worked together on a lot of issues together, and I'm really looking forward to continuing that. Um, I want to say that Jamel and Annette, Assemblyman Keanu, Assemblyman Holly, you always have the support of the firefighters here, not only in Union County, but across the state of New Jersey. We're here for you. We've been with you in the past, and we're going to continue that. So thank you for your continued support. I want to recognize uh, our locals uh, from the 20th District, Union. Our presidents are here. Elizabeth, our presidents are here. Hillside, Roselle, of course, are here. Thank you all for being here. I'd like to recognize... In the firehouse today from Vineland, from Patterson, from Clifton. This is a testament to show that uh, when the New Jersey State FMBA gets together and we come out and support someone, it's statewide. It's a, it's a statement that uh, you guys can carry with you and know that we don't make a hollow statement. It's a, it's a serious statement. We take it to heart and we mean what we say when we do it. So yeah, that's a testament to who's here today, our guys from all over the state of New Jersey. So in the fire service, we uh, you know we use the words that like we will never forget. Okay, and when we say when we say those words, we mean it. And when it comes from a brother firefighter, and we talk about it, how we will never forget that we have your back. Those words speak volumes as to what we really mean by it. And when I got the the news that um, Sheriff Prime was running for the the Senate, um, and I brought it up at our state meeting last week. There wasn't a, a member in the House when we unanimously voted to endorse him that said we will not have Joe Prime's back for what he did for us in, while, he, while his time in, this, in the General Assembly, what he did for firefighters, for police officers, for the working class, the middle class, workers here in New Jersey. Joe Prime had our back, and it's time that we have his back and get back. So, very proud. Like I said, I know Joe a very long time on a personal level. Um, he's a friend. He's someone that I consider a confidant. We speak quite often. Um, very proud of him that he's taken this step to get back into the, the Senate. Um, we're going to work with him well. And Joe, on behalf of the 5,500 firefighters, EMTs, and dispatchers in New Jersey, we're very proud to endorse you for New Jersey State Senate. Can I tell you guys something? This has been like two weeks of working on things. I am so humbled at this moment. 
I gotta say thank you so so much for being here for taking the time and thank you to the FMBA for your endorsement today. I am grateful and humbled by it. Thank you very, very much. I thought I had this all laid out. I'm, I'm, I can't tell you the chills. I really, I'm very, very grateful to, to Eddie, to every hero, because you are heroes. We are in the company of heroes. We elected officials today, because we're in the company of people that serve the public in ways that they can never truly understand. I am I'm just literally almost breathless by the, by the support, um, by the encouragement, by Ed and I's constant conversations about what we can do to show thank you for what you do each and every day. Thank you again very, very much. I'm humbled by your endorsement and I'm grateful for it. Thank you very much. I want to say thanks. Uh, it's a privilege to be with Jamal and Annette today. And I thank you both for your endorsement, and I thank you for your support. And I look forward to working together as a team for the things that are important not only to the folks in this room, but to the people of the 20th District and beyond. Um, you're raised with principles, right? You're raised with principles that say either, either you're part of something, we're working people. You're part of something that if you make a commitment, you keep it. But you're also aware of the fact that things evolve. Everybody knows, in this room and beyond, where I am on pension, health care, chapter 78, and the things we need to do to have fairness for the everyday heroes who are there, who go in when everybody else goes out. And I intend to keep that principle and that commitment to you each and every day in the New Jersey State Senate. I promise you that. But as we've learned over the years, things that are important to us now, right in front of us, whether it's a governor who won't sign things like cancer presumption bills that don't understand that when you're going into a building, what's actually in that building and what it means. And yet we watched literally less than a month ago a trooper be buried because of the, the effects of 9-11 and what it meant. We know that because we progress that things matter. And we also know that you all have expectations in your lives beyond retirement that are part of what you give. We know that you don't expect certain things to last maybe as long as others because of the sacrifices you've made. We know that. But we need to be there for that as a part of the New Jersey legislature. We need to understand it and be committed to making sure that everything you deserve, you have. It's not a giveaway. It's not a handout. It's a right. And it's a commitment from me. I think it's safe to say from Jamel and Annette. From us to you each and every day. We will be there for you. I promise you that. People have said to me, why would you, you have a great job being sheriff? What are you thinking? Um, I've heard that a few times over, over, over the past couple, couple weeks. And I do have the privilege and the honor of serving as a sheriff here in the county. And you know, I'll tell you what I've learned in that job. I've learned that the dedication and the expertise that people have, that if you give them a chance to show it and to shine, then good things happen. I'm a really smart sheriff. I get out of my undersheriffs and people's way. I listen to officers' ideas, and I let them run with it. And you know what? I look pretty good just by, just by driving the car and dropping them off. It's pretty much the way it works. I've learned that in public service that when you do that, when you honor people's dedication, that when you listen to their ideas and you respect their service, that you end up being the better person for it. It has been a privilege to be the sheriff. It's something I'm honored to be a part of. But I have to tell you, like standing here today, Paul, thank you for hosting us today. Thank you very much. Give Paul a round of applause. Thank you. We stand on the principles we have. We allow you to do your job to do it well. We need to make sure we're there to do that. When you do your job, and when you finish your job, we need to say thank you. We'll be there every step of the way. And I thank you for taking these steps of the way in this campaign. This isn't a long speech, but it's a grateful one. And I have the same chills in me that I had at the beginning, because I'm honored and humbled that you would take the time to be here and for your endorsement. I'm grateful, thank you, and together, let's get this thing done. So we have a
Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Have a good night.